Hey everybody, Ben Mankiewicz, TYT Sports, and I love it when it turns out a professional athlete you like is on the right side of things. In Wisconsin, make no mistake, what Governor Scott Walker wants to do is destroy the union there. He says that he's looking to just take away their collective bargaining rights, but to be clear, he's looking to allow them only to negotiate for a pay raise and not any other benefits, but the only pay raise that they could negotiate for would be one in line with the consumer price index. Any pay raise above that at all would have to be approved in a referendum. That would never happen. Unions would have to vote to stay formed every single year and members could vote whether or not to pay their dues. There would be no point to have a union. The union would be destroyed. So who steps up now, in addition to other members of the Green Bay Packers who have come through? Now we learn their best player on defense, Charles Woodson, comes to the aid of everybody out there, all those public employees in Green Bay. God bless Charles Woodson. So other members of the Packers have already come forward, taking public stands against uh, what's described here by Dave Zarin as the frightening dictatorial anti-union rampage of Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker, by the way. Uh, Dave Zarin, a, a sports correspondent for The Nation. If you have a chance to read him at The Nation or on Huffington Post, you should do so. Here's what Charles Woodson had to say. Last week, I was proud when many of my current and former teammates announced their support for the working families fighting for their rights in Wisconsin. Today, I am honored to join with them. Thousands of dedicated Wisconsin public workers provide vital services for Wisconsin citizens. They are teachers, nurses, and child care workers who take care of us and our families. These hardworking people are under an unprecedented attack to take away their basic rights to have a voice and collectively bargain at work. Love Rod Woodson. How did the Packers hold on in the second half without him? goes on to say it's an honor to play for the Packers, be a part of the Green Bay, Wisconsin communities. And he ends this statement by saying that he uh, needs organized labor. We need to assist organized labor in their fight against this attempt to hurt them by targeting unions. I hope those leading this attack, he says, will sit down with Wisconsin's public workers and discuss the problems Wisconsin faces so that together they can truly move Wisconsin forward. Signed, Charles Woods. Man, I like it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I already love Charles Woodson. And now, come on, there's just no way you don't love Charles Woodson. Just, just a little bit more. You know what? I didn't even do that justice. Just, just a lot more.